Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do my series of different types of spirits in the Bible. And like I told y'all, love is a spirit, okay? So we, this, this article is going to be about the spirit of love, okay? It's already locked, okay? Um, love in their definition means rape, sex, pleasure, listening to what they doing, believing in what they doing, shit like that, okay? So, I'm trying to read what I found, okay? If I have to stop, I will. The spirit of love. God is love. 1 John 4, 8. His love cannot change because he does not change. His love, his love have no beginning and never will cease because God is infinity. His love is infinity. His love is pure and holy. Indeed, his love is incomprehensible. That means they get the people that are pure, okay, to do this to, okay. The Apostle Paul wrote words of encouragement to believers saying, The love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us. Romans 5, 5 and Galatians 4, 6. And on that part, I done talked to a lot of victims of rape and molestation, and they thought it was normal. They thought it was love. No, it's not. It's basically what it's saying, okay? That is not good to be raping people or you getting raped. That's not good, okay? Don't let them tell you that, okay? That's not good, okay? And when it said the Holy Spirit who was given to us, so they gave you sex, then they feel like, they want you to feel special. Or they gave you a baby. They want you to feel special. Okay. The Holy Spirit makes the love of God so abundant in the believer's heart that it overflows. 1 John 4, 8, 16. Okay. He is the divine agent who expresses the love of God to the believer. See. They fluid. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Galatians 5.22, okay, okay, the Apostle Paul gave eight aspects of that love. The fruit of the Spirit cannot be imitated. It comes from our abiding in Christ, see, you know, if you're a woman, blood comes out of you, okay. As the Spirit of love abides in us, he bears his fruit to the glory of God. It is great assurance for the Christian to know that we are now God's children and that God loves us. See, for accepting this. I did a, a, a video a long time ago when I was a Lutero. It's titled Scorpio. It's just a Scorpio read. I forgot, I forgot what it titled as, though. But I see, uh, you know how parents will tell y'all if something bad happened to you, keep it in the family. That's basically what it's saying. No, don't keep shit like that in the family. Don't keep that shit in. It is great assurance for the Christian to know that we are now God's children and that God loves us. Because before we were saved, God demonstrated his love by sending Jesus to the cross to die for our sins. Okay, my first daughter. For me or my other daughter. Now we have the inner experience of his love through the Holy Spirit that sustains us in our daily life. His sustaining grace gives us patience in our trials and enables us to live to God's glory. God's kind of love is created and fulfilled in us by the spirit of love. See? Six. The Apostle John wrote, Behold, if God so loved us, we are out to love one another. See? When they go inside you. No one has beheld God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. 1 John 4, 10 through 11. The evidence, the evidence that we are the children of God is this divine love dwelling in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. 1 John 4 13 14. Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit will live and abide in us forever. 
The evidence that the promise is true is seen in the fruit of the Holy Spirit bears in our life. The New Testament teaches that the fruit of his abiding is to love. The Latin 522-23. The Apostle John tells us this too. When the Holy Spirit fills our heart, we see men and women as Jesus sees them. There is no greater ministry for the believer in Christ to do than to demonstrate and share the love of God in Jesus Christ to those who have never heard or seen it in action. See, where they get the little keys. I pray the spirit of love leave us, leads us, lead us to the individual of the world over who have never experienced the love of God. May the Holy Spirit break our hearts with the things that break the heart of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. See? John 3.16 Begotten son, the real one. How does an invisible God reveal himself to the world? He revealed himself in the transformed lives of his children. The lost world looks at us and sees the difference. And they ask how it can be. See? Why are you different? What is it that gives you the quality of life? If we abide in Christ, we will love one another and the world will see the difference. That love is a reflection of God's love in us. The one who does not love does not know God. The for God is love. 1 John 4 8. So, if you like to stick to your kind, then you know that's what it's saying. Called probably, I don't know. God's love will be experienced in us and then will be experienced through us. Abiding in God's love is made possible by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. 1 John 4 13. What a privilege to have God abide in us. We have God's Spirit living in us as a permanent residence. And I feel like that's for me because, you know, I say I look like us sometimes. You know, I see them as my mother and father, you know. You know what I mean, right? Like, my spirit, like, it's traumatized or something like that. Um, let's give let's give him permission to settle down and make himself completely at home in our hearts. No. No, they got to go. We abide in his love, and we experience the abiding of God in us. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, Jesus said. John 13, 34, 15, 12. What did he say was the greatest commandment? God's love is perfected in the believer. God's love is made perfect in you and me. Sinners saved by the grace of God. He reveals his love to us. I'm hearing porn stars, okay? May our lives be a constant testimony and demonstration of the spirit of love. A Bible in us. God is love, and he that drills in love drills in God, and God in him. 1 John 4, 16. See la. Okay, see y'all. Okay, um, but, yes, okay, so this is part one to the spirit of love. I had something else to say, but I totally just forgot. I just forgot it, y'all. So, yes. Oh, yeah, why I tell people. Don't tell me you love me, okay? If you don't really know the meaning, okay? Because, I mean, and plus love in the box is not spelled how we saying they love. No, it's love. I love you. Something like that, they told me. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta talk to the real one to know what that, y'all, y'all, real, what, y'all gotta talk to the real one so he can tell y'all. The real way, okay, but you can also feel it within you what is love, though, and what is not love, okay? So I'm out of peace, part one.